a Corinthian. What was like a Corinthian? Look at that. It's like a. It's like a piece of art almost, isn't it? This guy here, he is um, Baron Oscar de Menil. Now that's something. See, I love Cezanne. He really was the first modern painter. First one to break it all up. Some nice paintings in this room. Got a beautiful day guy. Mm. Got some nice man, eh? Courbet. Lovely big bear, and that's beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And that's and that's not a really detailed fish one. It looks like it probably took about two hours. Before, but you see how much we put in. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. But you know, make a nice pair. <laughs> <laughs> Job lot. That is amazing. I think one would say we say you had a buy. Quite interesting because they're so similar. That whole period across Europe is spreading because you also look at the same, you look at the screen, the monk. Mm -hmm. Same, same style, same technique. Paris was the centre at that point. You know, anything that was happening culturally, you know about it in Paris, and there were. You know, were. Bay of Marseille. We were recently there at Mark Johnson's wedding, and I believe I was standing. Just there. Wow. Thoughts in your mind? What are you thinking about this, Nick? I'm down with Vince. <laughs> Amazing. Well, there was one time when uh, one of the sunflower paintings became the most expensive painting in the world. It sold in auction. Well, where it went? I think it went to Japan, actually, and then the irises, another Van Gogh painting went to Australia and um, at that time they were the two highest prices ever paid for modern art. <laughs> 